Welcome back to Rad BMX Builds. On this episode, we're on the road again, this time headed to Temecula, California to the pump track where an event is being held and Eddie Fiola is currently at. So the elusive Eddie Fiola we're trying to track you down because we have the 2019 GT Pro Performer in the back and I'm trying to get your signature on it. So we'll see if you're still there when we get there. But before we hit the highway, first things first, 602 in Costa Mesa to get our coffee. I did. Well, Newport, but same same neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he is Brought something to show you. It looks a lot like this. Yeah. Put over there against the rail. Ooh, that's yellow. Yeah, it's bright yellow. That is some bright yellow. I'll show it to you when you're done. It looks like a big banana. Right? It looks like a banana. Or maybe a flying banana. You have to hit deal with him. Yeah. You have to deal with him. Yes, she does. I drag her out here for you yeah, today. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying is that like, like we had when we took magazines apart. We put pictures up on the wall. Yeah, yeah. You know, we did this as kids. He did this as a kid. Now I'm standing in front of him. Yeah, yeah. And I'm talking to him, and we're actually friends now. And it's like that's if I had. If Farrah Fawcett came to my house, and then now you're friends, I had Farrah right? Fawcett on my wall, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Rolling on through, good time. Look fast to me for Nolan. Viola coming up next. Viola. For some reason, something Viola. tells me that this guy spends most of his free time on two wheels. On that cool canary yellow frame, one of my favorite all-time colors. Eddie Fiola, a legend in his own right, coming on yeah. through. Fiola's in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? He has to be. I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame right now in my book. Just absolutely rocking it. Eddie Fiola, nice ride. Yeah! The layback's terrible on that bike, isn't it? You're going to put it on? No, no, no. I took it off immediately. Yeah. They're terrible. It pitches the seat at a bad angle. Oh yeah, you go like straight up and down, right? Yeah, absolutely. How the, is these the, are these the stock cow, brakes that come with it? Absolutely. Yes. Turning it up, manualing like crazy. Swipe You've already mastered a little Fiola sticker on there. Looking fantastic. Bombs yeah, I changed a few things up on it. Yeah, uh, the so Skyways, 9 tooth. The problem is I need tires. Yeah, I do need to put a 13 tooth on the back because the gearing's kind of off right now with the real hard. It is. Yeah. But these are um, the 9 tooth Skyways that came from Planet. I just need to swap this out to a 13. It'll right. feel a lot better. It looks beautiful. It Thank does. you. I like that they left this little uh, 27.5 on there. You know, isn't that funny? Because everyone always asks, like, what, how, how long is the top tube? Uh -huh. No, I don't actually. There, there it is. So I, I don't know if I would have put it, it there, right. but there, or up here, you like or maybe. This? Got my own bike shop sticker there. Nice. A buddy of mine made those for me. I was like, that's really cool. Then I put these grips on. These are the new old stock, like 87 grips. Right. How'd you do? I did okay. You made it from point A to point B. I got there. Let me try you, Marshall. Gonna come across the line. Finish his second time qualifying. So he builds these bikes to a T to like to, to, to give um, an old school look. Yeah. This is one of the new school bikes. It's yeah. a new bike. Nice. And he made it look a lot older than it actually is. And it looks like it, it came out of the box in 1985. So, and this is what everything, every kid rode back in the 80s. That's right. Oh, yeah, Mike. Every cool kid. Oh, look at that. Corker. Right? Man, beautiful. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Sean. Sean? Yeah. Rick. Rick, good to meet you. Yeah, no, it looks great. I like the uh, the Power Series cranks. I like the, um, I came up with this idea so long ago that, you know, to do a two-stage looking like a, 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 a Power Series yeah. bottom bracket or um, uh, chain drive 
-hmm. and to make it, you know, different, but actually built all the same, have it all um, CNC cut, shave off what you didn't need, which would leave a oh, yeah. one that it looks like, but then put the holes as if it was uh, an interchangeable disc. Because originally they were a solid power disc. Yeah. And yeah. then you started getting the jelly bean cutouts in them later on in the 87-ish. Well, yeah, but, you know, when, when the guys raced, they, they were able to change their sprockets without changing That's right. the bottom bracket. That's right. Without pulling everything off, you can change that and slide the, the chain forward or the back wheel forward. Yeah, Alberto! Alberto's 59. Wow, holy crap. Yeah, the, the guy that was just here, 72. Well, I mean, you're you're close to 59. I am. You're 57, right? Eight, eight. this year. Oh. I Matter of fact, eight this month. Your birthday is this month? Yeah, September. Well, oh, good. The 28th. And I'll be all of 58. All right. Yeah, I turned 51. <laughs> I like how similar the decals are. Right. I love it. Well, I mean, I designed them. I know. You know, I, I when I came up, I go look at his decals and look at these. Yeah. That looks great. Okay, I would say that was a pretty successful trip out to the Temecula pump track. I hope you liked that content. As you saw, we got to hook up with Eddie and talk to him a bit, watch him go around the pump track. Uh, off camera, we hung out and, and chatted up quite a bit. Uh, we have some plans to get together probably this Tuesday out at Huntington Beach. And um, he did sign the bike, so let's take a quick look at that. So this 2019 GT Pro Performer semi-custom build that I did is now a flying banana Eddie Fiola upside down number one rad bike. So thank you Eddie for that. And I think that's gonna complete this bike. So I'm pretty much done with it and very happy with the way it came out. If you need any rad BMX builds merch, you can find that at my website, radbmxbuilds.com. Thanks again for tuning in and watching these videos. And don't forget, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to help me grow and keep building contents and memories for you. And remember, as always, stay rad.